so I got a great email from a guy named Brandon asking me for some help mounting my wings. Yes, of course, I'd be happy to help. When I mount bite wings or any other kind of radiograph for that matter, I think of it as kind of like putting a puzzle together. And when I put a puzzle together, I'll be honest, I cheat. And I look at the box or that page that comes with it that kind of gives you the big picture. So you can take this tiny little random puzzle piece, you can hold it up against the big picture and you can go, oh, it goes there, that makes sense. And so it's the same thing with uh, x-rays. When we take an x-ray, we're basically pulling the cheeks, pulling the lips back, pulling away the, the muscles, and it's almost like showing the doctor uh, something that he dissect or the, the skull. So let me go on to the skull, right? So here you can see we have the molars in the back and the premolars more toward the midline or the mesial. So the premolars are more anterior. The molars are back farther. They're going to go to the outside of our picture. And here you see the uh, rising ramus in the back. And sometimes you'll see that architecture or you're going to see that, that um, what's the word, shoot, you're going to see that um, little bit of anatomy on the, on the uh, x-ray as kind of a clue. Sorry, I'm stumbling over myself right now. It's late. <laughs> So here's four radiographs. Let's take a peek at them and, and see what we can learn from them. So clearly, you have your molars here, beautiful uh, cavity for that guy. And here's some molars. You can see, the, obviously, the larger teeth. Here are your premolars. So the molars are going to go back toward the outside of the of the um, outside of the frame got it and, and you could see that ramus rising right okay so now we have to decide which side our premolar images are going to go to so you can see right here this little cavity right well look it's right there just a little hint of it and here's another clue here's a here's a little filling and here's that same filling right there here's on the other side we have uh, this this filling here you can get a better picture of it here but let's see if we can't sort it out. You guys can see better. And you can see those images set in line. Molars on the outside. Premolars toward the midline. Can you see the canines here? Clearly, the canines are farther forward. Okay, here's a different set of x-rays. Here, you have an x-ray and you're like, hmm, I don't know. Is this a premolar image or is this a molar image? Well, it could be either. Until we see the next one, we can compare it, right? So, now this makes it all clear and you can see you know, my other video, I talked about how the star of the show, when this person took this image, clearly the premolars were the star of the show. They were highlighting the premolars. So the premolars are going to go more toward the midline. And this image clearly has a lot more molar in it. This just has a little bit of molar. This has a lot of molar, right? So the molars are going to go to the back. And get rid of that. The premolar toward the front. Now here's another clue that you might notice. 
Um, see that little smile, that little grin, curve of speed? Sometimes when you have, I only have two of these images here, but sometimes when you have all four in, of the bite wing x-rays together, there'll be a little grin letting you know you did a great job mounting. See that little grin? Okay, last set. So clearly you can see the molar image. Here's the ramus. Here are these giant molars. We know that's going back to the outside, uh, to the outside of the frame. And uh, the other one here is clearly, there's the ramus, here's the giant molars. Now, where do we put the other two images? Well, this again, this puzzling, you can see that there's a giant filling here that perfectly matches that filling. And it's tougher to see, but this, this tooth has a filling here, this tooth has a filling here, just process of elimination. You just, I'm probably, here you go. You see that? See how these molar images, how they have that same, that same restoration there. So you just look for clues like that. Um, if for some reason your teacher gets a little tricky and, and flips some of the images upside down, look for that, that little curve. That will be a clue for you. Um, the mandibular molars have, you know, just this very classic molar, you know, like you see the classic tooth, um, Whereas the maxillary molars, uh, they're, you know, how to describe it better, but um, the, the mandibular molars are just very characteristic, right? They just have that, the kind of, the tooth look that, you know, people draw diagrams of a tooth. Like that's a great diagram. <laughs> anyway, Brandon, I really hope this helps and good luck. I want to just encourage you to be calm. Don't let fear play a part of this. Uh, when you put a puzzle together with your family when you were a young kid, uh, it was fun, right? It was meant to be something that was relaxing. Um, so view this like you're putting a puzzle together and I know you're going to do great.